Uh, Tom, good of you to join us. Mortgage problems are very obvious, but why should private pensioners or those soon to go on to a private pension also be worried? Hi, Alistair. Well, I think there's three things worth touching on here briefly. First of all, the final salary pension schemes. We heard a lot a few weeks ago about LDI investment strategies and how the Bank of England was having to step in to prop up those pension schemes. Well, the good news is I've seen no evidence this time around with this interest rate rise of any of those same uh, distress flares going up. Uh, I think it was much more predictable. I mean, it's a big jump. But but schemes have had time to adjust their investment strategies to to uh, uh, accommodate that. So that's that's the first thing. Is I think there's no sense of panic in the final salary guaranteed pension sector. But there's two other things worth highlighting. First of all, you just touched on mortgages and and how that's impacting people's cost of living. So that big jump in interest rates is going to feed through into the amount of money people have in their pay packets every month. One of the temptations, one of the understandable sort of safety valves people might look to is to stop their pension contributions, to opt out of their workplace pension. Perhaps you're going to have to do that if you really are feeling really squeezed for money, but I'd absolutely urge people not to unless you absolutely have to, because staying in a workplace pension means you're getting free money from your employer and from the government. So, Yes, it's an option, but it should absolutely be a last resort. And that's perhaps relevant to people in their 20s, 30s, 40s. More acute is, is the issue around people in their 50s and 60s. Now, if you're about to transition into retirement, the good news here is that that increase in interest rates means that the guaranteed income you can get from your pension is going up pretty yeah. fast. And compared to where we were two or three years ago, the amount of guaranteed income you can get, what's, what's called an annuity, it's, it's almost double what you could have got. So for a 65-year-old, for example, if you go back three years, two or three years, they were looking at a guaranteed income of about £4,500 a year from a pot of £100,000. Well, today, they could buy £7,500 a year, a really big jump. So for people approaching retirement or about to buy an annuity or even in retirement and drawing an income from that pot, that might be really good news. The, the one other thing I want to highlight um, uh, is, is, is for people approaching retirement, but not yet in retirement. If you've had your money moved into what are supposed to be low risk investment funds to, to reduce the risk of your pot suddenly falling as you approach retirement, which would clearly be very bad news. Well, that hasn't worked so well this year. And, and one of the things we saw following the mini budget was a really substantial drop in the value of those funds. So some people are still looking at losses of 20 or 30% relative to where they were a few months ago. Now, coming back to your question, the interest rate rise last week hasn't exacerbated that problem because, as I said, people kind of saw that one coming. But there are a lot of people today, perhaps in their early 60s, who are looking at significantly smaller pots of money than they were hoping to be able to draw on even a year ago.